Okay, we're out here in the garden and RJ is helping me. It's a little late. I'm hoping that to catch enough light. Um, I still have to clean this up with a magnet. Um, this is where the brush pile was and see it's in the middle of my wall. But RJ, how many, what all is put up and what is done? These pieces of trees are put up. Yeah, the five by fives are all in place and the outside headers are in place. We've got to put another header on that side and on this side on the inside because that's where our what's going to rest? Stuff. Our trusses. So, um, I was right. I just... once we get the trusses up, then we start putting metal up and I start working on the inside. So, uh, I'm going to go and find a nice French door that I like. I got to get 10. I got so much to do. Come on, tap that in, boy. Come on. We're trying to beat the rain. Okay, now wait a minute. Why are we having to rush to beat the the rain? I told you yesterday it was going to rain today, and what did you tell me? Oh, it's not. I still don't believe it is. Okay, but what did the weatherman say was going to happen? This is a 40% chance. I still don't believe it, so okay. I went to the gym. So you went to the gym. Get up. Tap that in. Come on. It's done. Okay, so um, this is the garden house, and like I said, right now it's just call this thing I'm doing where they bench pressing. What? Bench pressing, but you're supposed to have weights on the side of that post on each it's side. Heavy. Oh, come, come on. Come on. Anyway, um, fire pit is all nice and in place. Rocking chair, or rocking chair. Uh, the swing, and I really think it'll look good just, you know, like my little house. Um, I am going to move this, I think, closer over and make it another gathering area. Um, that's a pecan tree, so I'll have nuts. And that's a pecan tree over there, so I'll have nuts. RJ just doesn't want his um, strawberry bed screwed up. But, hey, RJ, have you been down here? No, Trayvon was down here. He's one of our little buddies. And do you see what he sees underneath there? Mm -hmm. He said if they had been ripe the other day, he was ready to take them. But these things are loaded. This is like our second year. And we were told that you have to replace them every year. But looking upside down there, look at all those strawberries under there. That's and they're right. So eat it. It's white on the other side. That's okay. He's going to eat it anyway. It's just going to be a little sour. Actually, it's ripe. No, it's not. The it white part is not ripe. It is too. Eat it. You eat it. He thinks it's ripe. See, here's another one. Look at here. Now this one, see how it's not white on any side? Here. See? It's overripe. No, it's not. Here's another one right here. This one's ripe. Yes, I'm actually feeding my son out of the garden I'm on video. But look at all of these. I mean, this is just loaded. And everybody told me we have to change them out every year and blah, blah, blah. This is like the most we've gotten. RJ, did you see? Look. Look, no, look at this. RJ. I know, I'm trying to get him to look, but he's not. Look. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Yep. And there's some. Oh, here. He's just going to sit here and eat them. Mm -hmm. But yes, we have and see over here. There's two or three that are ripe This end isn't doing as strong, but you know what? I think Whoops. it'll Yeah, now you lost one you sacrificed one just to have another there's some over here But this is just amazing. I cannot believe that there is Bug. that many little Throw it out so that they'll go someplace else and eat it Anyway, so we do have strawberries coming in and tons of them. We're really happy with that. Hey, look at these. These are all big I know. Hey, this one's right. This yep. over right. There's two over here you need to pick and get them. Anyway, all right, I'm going to go finish the update before I run out of video film here. I'm on my phone. Um, he's, <laughs> he's upset he's losing some to his bugs. Okay, so I made this little edge here, and then I forgot to water it. So the fact that these marigolds are coming back is fine by me. They don't look great, great, but they're in the edge. And I'm going to put a butterfly bush in the center here. Um, these two right here, I don't think did what they were supposed to do. My basil's holding on, catnip, uh, rosemary, lavender. The sage is coming back from where the goat ate it. This is my thyme. Oh my gosh, I've got to get that harvested. Um, 
then of course all the trees were in bloom um i have some loofahs out here that are coming in and some something gourd the eight foot snake gourds the goats got in here and ate my watermelons and my sweet peas so those are gone um who knows maybe they'll get back but i am a whiz at zucchini so i'll take it i know that they're easy to grow don't care you can say what you want um the other thing is is here's the asparagus you can see right here yes this is wool we leave this i don't know what that is but it's coming out but this is going to be my asparagus row and it will forever be the edge i've got like six plants here or five plants here no six plants here's the sixth one um so i'm gonna have that as a row Right now, these are protecting it, but once the asparagus gets really good and thick, it's gonna go the whole width of the trellis, and that will be our barrier, and this in here will be my personal little garden. Um, the climbing spinach, it was supposed to be self-sowing, it was supposed to come back. I can't find any, so um, I'm gonna have to get some more seeds and go from there. This, I started to clean it out, and I haven't gotten them cleaned out yet, so that's kind of my thing. Um, bell pepper that the goat ate off, bell pepper that the goat ate down even further, but they're both coming back, so I'm happy. The onion bed is perfect. Look at this. I haven't weeded it, haven't had to do anything with it. Um, I do go through and just pick up, pull out like the tall grass, but other than that, it comes back every year like this, and I love this. No having to do with it, no service in it, just dig up what I want and do what I am going to do, so, um. There's that. Uh, I think that's all I have growing right now because the goats got in here and ate down a bunch of stuff. I'm losing light. So, um, but I've got my mint, my lemon balms, my zucchinis, and it is gonna rain, so I'm okay with that. But, and that table setting right there will probably go over closer to the thing. I want my house to be a gathering spot, so, with my outdoor kitchen. All right. You good and done? Yep. All right. Huh? See my belly full. We need more though. Well, you could eat the green ones. They don't taste very good. I already tried. <laughs> Are you still bleeding? What happened, RJ? Tell us about your. I had a fierce and mighty battle today. Okay. Tell us about your blood. I got one mark on me out of the whole thing. It's right back here in my ear. It was a fierce fight. Mom even had to chip in and help me. I was losing for a while. Okay, train's coming, so hurry it up. But we finally got him. I had a tick on my ear. And he was really in there, wasn't he? Like, I had to pull hard. Yeah, it I mean, hurt. <laughs> he was like, dang. And then, bled. and then it bled forever. It left like a hole, and it bled, so. There's a hole in my ear. Let me see here. Move. Gotta tip your head up. There's not even a mark now. I'm still bleeding though. See, look, all this blood. Yeah, but I can't even see it. So, that's strawberry. All right. Uh oh. My boyfriend's up there strawberry rubbing on the fence. I know. <laughs> all right. We're gonna get off here. I gotta get this stuff put up. And what are you doing tonight? Go to find something to eat. Tonight. And then. Sheared. Yep. You gotta get a couple sheared tonight. So I gotta go in and get a shower because I'm all yucky, nasty, and then I gotta work tomorrow, don't I? Me too. You work the here. Boss, like, it leaves a big old list every day. <laughs> All right, I'm off of here. Gonna go clean this stuff up. Talk to y'all later. Bye.